Hi, welcome in. I'm now going to do the PSRE 2022, lots of cherries and cakes question. Okay, this is the most delicious of the questions. Okay, so much. Let's, let's begin by talking about the keywords, which is the most important thing. Remember to always highlight keywords, okay? First thing, there's a total of 40 large and small cakes in the ratio of five is to three. And she decorated each large cake to each small cake with cherries in the ratio of three to two. She then used a total of 204 cherries to decorate all the small cakes and some of them, seven large cakes. The first question is, how many small cakes did she bake? Second one, how many cherries did she use to decorate all the small cakes? And C, how many more cherries does she need to decorate the remaining large cakes? Okay, I'll be using the ratio method to solve this question. All right, so here we go. First, we are going to use the beginning ratio and the ratio is five is to three. Now this five is to three is based on the number of kicks and there are 40 kicks, okay? Now, before I go on, I just want to highlight three is to two is based on cherries, not cakes. So this is a different ratio. All right, so now we talk about the ratio of the kicks, which is five to three. So we're going to put here uh, large and small. Okay, I'm going to use a thinner line. And then I'm going to write here the ratio of five is to three. Okay, bear in mind that this five is to three is based on units, right? And since the total is 40 cakes, then the 40 cakes is made up of a total of five plus three, eight units. So if there are 40 cakes and it's eight units, then one unit should be five cakes. Okay, so the next thing to do is to multiply each of them by five. And when I multiply this by five, I am now changing it from units into the actual number of kicks. So let's look back at the question. The first question was, how many small kicks? How many small kicks did she bake? And so since this is the actual number of kicks, then this is the answer. She baked 15 small kicks. Okay, so I've already answered the first question. So A, she baked 15 small kicks. Okay, now we go on to B. Now B is asking you how many cherries did she use to decorate all the small cakes? Okay, I'm doing this part here. How many cherries for all the small cakes? Now, the clue they gave you is that she used 204 cherries for all the small cakes, but there are some large cakes here. And she also tells you that each large cake has got three units and each small cake has got two units. So let's use these numbers now. Okay, what we do is, I'm gonna use a different color so it stands up. And now I'm gonna write cherries instead of cakes, okay? This was cakes. And this is still based on the ratio of large to small. But we are not going to use all the large cakes because it says here that she only used 204 for seven large cakes, not all of them. So for that reason, this is seven and this is all the small cakes, 15. Okay, so these are actual cakes. Then they gave you another ratio, which is that, that the ratio of the cherries on each large to each small cake for the cherries is three to two. So now what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to multiply this by three and two respectively. Okay, 
When you multiply this by three and two, you are getting the parts. 21 parts to 30 parts. Okay, it is a good idea to not repeat the word. Huh? Otherwise, it gets confusing between units and parts. So we have a total, just like what we did above, of 21 plus 30. Sorry, there was a lag. And I got 51 parts. So this 51 parts represents all the cherries used, which was 204. So now I find one part. And if this number is not divisible, it is divisible. But if it's not, it probably means that you got it wrong. Now, what does this mean? That means that one part in this ratio represents four cherries. So let's try to answer the question. The question says that how many cherries did she use for all the small cakes? Now, I know that she has 15 small cakes and she used a total of 30 parts of cherries to decorate all the small cakes. So if that is the case, then what all I have to do is to take 30 and multiply that by four because four is one part. This is 30 parts. So I'm going to answer that part now. Okay, let's be neat. All right. So to answer B, it will be 15 small cakes uses 30 parts of cherries. One part is four cherries. So 30 parts would be 30 times four, giving me 120 cherries. Okay, done. So now I've completed part B of the question. Okay, I will be here. And now we go to the last part, part C. Part C is asking how many more cherries is needed for the remaining cakes? Now, how many cakes has she already decorated using the 204? The answer is that she has already decorated seven cakes using the 204 cherries. And more importantly, every cake required three cherries, or rather three parts of cherries. What I need to know now is how many more cakes, the remaining large cakes, how many more cakes I need to put cherries on. So to do that, I will take the total number of cherries, oh sorry, the total number of large cakes, which is 25 large, and I will subtract away the seven that have already been decorated. So now I'm going to take uh, 25, as I told you, minus seven to get 18 cakes that have not been decorated. These are the large cakes, okay? Now, for every cake, as I said just now, they are using three parts to decorate. And since one cake requires three parts, 18 cakes should be 18 times three. So 18 cakes would require 54. However, this is not the answer because this three here is parts. And that means you have 54 parts. To answer the question, you need to change this into cherries. It says here that one part is four cherries. So to answer the question, 54 parts, which is for the 18 cakes, will be 54 times four, answer 216 cherries. Okay, at any point, if you don't understand anything, you can stop the video, go back, watch it until you fully understand. Do not just take the answer, make sure you learn, okay? Foundation is important. Were the explanations clear for you? If you have any questions, remember to leave it in the comments and I will answer them. If you have found this useful, please share it with your friends, but most important, remember to subscribe as this channel 
was made to help parents in their journey. I would appreciate that a lot. If you want the worksheet, look in the description below in my Telegram group, join it, and you will find the worksheet there. I will see you 